Hey guys, TJ Houston here. I wanted to talk a little bit about my workflow kind of going into 2019. Uh, it was time for a change for sure. I uh, do a lot of travel now. It's a little bit less portrait and wedding. And up till this point, I've been very dependent on the Adobe ecosystem. And I and I wanted something more. Um, I had run into some issues, so it was time for a change. And that's where Mylio came in. I was actually at a training and someone mentioned it and honestly I had forgot about the software. I had heard about it when it first came out. I even tried it. Uh, a little glitchy back then, uh, but I figured, you know, 2019 I'll give it a try and I've tried it now for quite a while and I am super super happy with it. It works exactly how I want it to. There's no question about it. Uh support's been really good. I've had a couple questions about like how I set things up. But overall, it's been a very, very good experience. So I kind of wanted to step through what my workflow is and how I use Mylio in conjunction with On1 um, software. That'll be another video, how I kind of use them both together to replace the Adobe suite of products. So the question is, you know, why? Why did I, you know, want to make this switch and what problems was I trying to solve? Uh, number one, I wanted to get rid of Adobe. And the reason that I wanted to get rid of it wasn't the monthly costs. Um, that's actually really, really inexpensive. And honestly, if you would have reached out to me last year, I probably would have just sang its praises. And it's still the right thing for a certain amount of people. Most people, it's, it's good for. It's a great software. It works. But I got burned two times in a row with catalog issues. And it was time for me to make a change. It was It was me Adobe, it's me, it's not you, you know, and I and I had to make a change. I had to try something new. So there was more, if you notice, there's more and more choices are coming out for editing to kind of combat Adobe. And one thing that Adobe has going for it is the ecosystem. The round tripping of files, going from Lightroom into, you know, the various apps, whether that's on mobile or, you know, desktop, it works really well. So there's great editing software that's out. On One is probably my favorite. Um, sometimes I'm editing on the go, so I use Snapseed. I've been playing a little bit with um, Luminar, Luminaire, however you say that. Uh, I've been playing around with that a little bit as well. But there's a lot of different choices out there for editing, but there was nothing really good for organization, and that's kind of where Mylio came in. My goal was I needed to access images everywhere. I am on the road. A lot of times I need to send stuff over for clients and I need access to all of my images. And Lightroom did that really, really well. I also needed a way to easily organize all my files so I can type in a location, a date, a camera model. Again, I'd be doing a presentation, say, on the G9 for work and I needed to find some good photos from the G9. Now I can just type that in and find those things. I needed a customizable way to import. So one thing that I really, really like about Lightroom is its ability to kind of handle the entire workflow process from the beginning when you're importing to, you know, renaming the files. It kind of does all the heavy lifting for you and you can truly set it and forget it. So that's what I was looking for in the replacement software. I also needed a way to do an automated backup. You know, it's really important that, especially when I'm doing client work, that that information, the photos get backed up in several different places, but it has to stay organized. And I was done relying and paying for redundant cloud storage. So I'm already paying Backblaze to back up my external drive and my computer, but then I found myself paying for Adobe storage because I'd run out of room, and I was just... I'm over that. I didn't want to pay that. Um, I recently moved everything into Google Drive as my center for absolutely everything um, for my work, my business stuff, my personal. And I didn't want to have to pay for another online storage solution after I just made that migration to Google. So I was done with paying, you know, for the same thing twice. So that's kind of where, you know, Mylio came into the whole, um, into the kind of the glue that brought my entire workflow together. So take a look at Mylio. If you go to their website, uh, you can do a, they have a free download that you can give it a shot. Um, it basically allows you to access your images from everywhere. Uh, it does give you access to edit the raw files, um, check out their plans and see what works for you. Again, I am just using this for organization. So I'm not really even doing a lot of, no, I'm not doing any editing in the software. I'm not using it for that. I'm not using it for its calendar features. It'll sync with your calendar and tie things together for life events. I'm not doing a lot of personal stuff in this, and my phone's not syncing back to my computer. I have Google Photos for that. This is simply operating as a cataloging tool. I need a tool that's very fast that can catalog all my files and give me access to my files everywhere. 
So you can see here, all you have to do is install Mylio. You have one library and you can sync all your devices to it. So if you want to sync your you know, mobile device, if you want to sync your tablet, if you have a laptop and a desktop, basically the library becomes the one place where all of these files can transact and you can pull them, you can edit them, everything stays in sync. So again, super easy to install. Uh, there's a couple custom things that I'm going to get into now that I set up to kind of work with my workflow and it made sense in my head, um, but it might not work for you. So again, I'm just showing you how I'm using it. Uh, it might not be for everybody, but I do urge you at least to take a look at Mylio. So the version that I went with is 833 a month. Um, five devices was plenty for me. Uh, 100,000 photos, again, plenty for me. And what I liked is I could, at some point, if I need to move into the Mylio Max, I can do that. So if I need, you know, the unlimited photos, if I def decide to have more devices. So if you're in like a studio where you have all these multiple computers, it might make sense for you to go to the Mylio Max. But as of right now, I'm in this premium and it seems to be working really well for me. So what I won't be using Mylio for, uh, the Facebook and Flickr sync, I, I don't see myself pulling in, you know, those files from Mylio into it, uh, raw editing, face detection, the Dropbox or Box sync. I'm not, I'm not going to be doing any of those things. I, again, I'm just using this as a cataloging tool. So kind of how I have everything set up. Uh, so you can see here, I have my external, uh, it's an eight terabyte drive that's hooked up to my um, desktop here and it's there's two folders that I created archive and all images and I'll get back to that in a minute and then on mobile it's all Narbox so I copy all my stuff to the Narbox and then I do the import process when I get back to the main computer so the reason for two different locations and this is what made sense to me because on the external hard drive this backs up to Backblaze so if for any reason I need to you know pull this content down I can from absolutely anywhere um, and I wanted everything Thing kind of off the desktop because in my desktop I don't have a lot of storage you know so I rely heavily on this external eight terabyte drive so now this again is what works for me you know if I were to be starting fresh I might decide to throw like a four or five terabyte drive in the desktop in order to have redundancy but again I'm really relying on the redundancy of backblaze and the fact that it syncs constantly to be able to pull this content back down so I guess this is the only weak point in the entire you know should something happen you know I'd have to wait and pull from backblaze but at the end of the day I don't you know, I, I feel pretty good about how I have it set up now, and I've been pretty happy with it. So you can see here I have the Easy Store, which is the 8 terabyte, and then I have a Mylio folder. Inside that, I have my All Images and then my Vault. So you can connect this to the calendar. So again, if you were, let's say you put all your weddings, your wedding photographer, um, that might help you. Or if you're a portrait photographer, it'll actually sync the calendar, and then you'll be able to see um, all of those files tied to that event all really, really easily. So it's a very cool feature, but again, not something that I am going to use. I just want to make sure you're aware that it does have a lot of these cool uh, features. So as we're, this is the kind of the initial setup. So I signed in here. I told it, no, I didn't want to use the calendar. So now we're getting to the media section. So where are we going to put our library? So you know where that's going to be, you know, from that previous, um, screenshot that I had there and the same thing with the vault so you know now I can say hey this is where my vault is um, which I had already created uh, but I did um, where mine's a little bit different is because I did this on an external drive and I told it exactly where I wanted it to go I went through and told it um, I had to actually go to the advanced options so that way I could you know, tell it exactly where I wanted it to be located. So here's my actual Mylio folder. And then you'll see, you know, we're changing that to the the hard drive, the Mylio and the images, because that's the folder structure that I set up in the beginning. Before I even set any of this up, I went through and created my folder structure. So here, you know, this is where you could set your actual device policy. And actually an update came out within the last, I mean, it, I just noticed it when I turned it back on, so I don't know exactly when the update came out, uh, but it gives you more granular control over the sync policy and your device policy. So here we're talking about our actual device policy. Um, I left mine to auto-optimized, um, so it'll go through and, you know, 
be smart about taking up you know room on your computer but if you want to if you know that you have a plenty of storage or you know you want to go in here you have full control over um, how you want it to handle this you know each device individually so we can see here found the drive um, it says hey we just found this drive would you like to do anything with it obviously you know that's just an extra storage drive I'm not I'm gonna click no and we are now into our Milio library. So, so far we've gone through, we have set up our initial library. So now we're going to go through and we're going to set up our vault. So we're going to click add vault. Now this is where your setup might be different than mine. This is where I wanted to pick exactly where the um, location is of the vault so I could easily back it up. And that's why I had to choose the NAS option. Um, I don't know, and if someone, you know, works at Miley, I could be doing this totally wrong. Uh, but as I went through all of these, I couldn't find a place where I could exactly select uh, where what folder I wanted the uh, actual vault to live in. Uh, so it's, I just clicked on the NAS button and it allowed me to go just to that USB drive. So even though this says NAS, it's actually a USB drive. And it's because, again, I wanted to choose exactly where this vault was located. So that way I knew I could create my policy around how I backed everything up. Also for any allocation, if I ever needed to pick this up and move it, I wanted it to be modular. So that way everything was in one place. There was not, you know, a bunch of scattered syncing files, you know, all throughout the drive. Um, I just wanted to make sure it was all in one. Okay, so it's time to go through and test our workflow. This is our first import. Uh, so we click on the import button, and you'll notice that on here it says advanced settings. At first, this did not come up. I didn't know how I could go through, all that came up was this top part where all I could do is say, exclude suspected duplicates and delete files. I didn't have options here. So what you actually have to do is you have to go up to edit and then settings. And once you're in there, you can actually go to this advanced area and you can show the advanced import settings. So this will allow you to go through and actually have the, you know, you can set up your file naming, things like that. Um, so now when we hit import, I can select SD card and now we can actually see that we have these options for the file naming. And by default, it says keep existing file names. And the same thing here, keep existing organization import folder. Um, that's, that's not how my workflow is set up. I like to keep everything organized by date, by month, by day, and then it's actually separated out by time. So once you click on this little arrow here, you can actually go and choose how you want it set up. So I just did the custom, I set it up so it would work in my workflow uh, for the how I want my files all renamed. Um, so that way when I clicked import, now it goes year, month, day sequence, and the folder organization is year, month, and day. So if I'm bringing in multiple cards, it's automatically gonna put all the files exactly where I want them to go. So now we can click import and we are good to go. We can see all the files are imported. And then if you go and look, gotta double check everything. So if I go to my, you know, Mylio images and then under Mylio pictures, June 19 or 2019, June and June 5th, we can see that all the files are here. They are named properly. They are in sequence, so 06051, 06052, 06053. So they all go in chronological order. And then you can see, you know, 65 2019, everything is syncing exactly how I want it. So I instantly have a copy of the um, Mylio pictures in the vault and then the Mylio pictures in just the images. So we know that everything is working properly. So just to double check, I just opened up the mobile app on both my tablet as well as my uh, Pixel, and everything was all migrated pop properly, went to calendar, went to June 5th. There's all my images from the Seattle area. Everything is in sync. It's all working how I want it to. So now I was going through, I just let it basically just chew away at the photos. So I have all of my files in the 2019 rebuild. Again, rebuild because... Lightroom kind of messed up on me. So I had to redo all of this. I had to kind of start from scratch. All I had was just the raw images, none of the edits, it, everything was lost. So we can see here about 29,000 images so far in 2019, about 350 gigs. I basically said, hey, 
chew on this for a little while and it went ahead and it pulled all of those images in for me everything is nicely um, organized i double triple checked just to make sure everything was going exactly where i wanted it and then sit back and just relax i just kind of let it chew through it overnight and then when i came back everything was in the mylio library it was ready to go and I am a very happy Milio customer right now. So a couple things that I wanted to share with you. Um, on their website, they have some keyboard shortcuts. So again, they're very similar to uh, shortcuts you've used in the past. So definitely if you're making the switch, this speeds you up a whole bunch. And then if you need any quick tips, they actually have a really good kind of a quick tips, do quick tips document that you can find on this link. So uh, for a copy of this presentation, just head over to my website, tjhouston.com, and just search for Milio or scroll through, and you will find you know the links that you can actually go through and click on. So again, this is just the, you know, I separated the editing from the cataloging. This is the cataloging video. In the future, I'll kind of show how I kind of go through and really edit the photos. Um, I really just use this as an organizational tool. Um, and occasionally, you know, I'll go in and I'll pull out, you know, photos if I need them. Uh, but I still do like my browsing, my edits, all that's done in on one. And I'll show you guys how I do that in a future video. I hope this is helpful. Um, I don't really hear a lot of people using Mylio. Uh, for me, it's a great software. They're still updating it. An update, like I said, an update just came out. Uh, do yourself a favor, give it a try, take a look. It might solve some problems for you too if you are done paying money to the uh, the Adobe overlords. Now you will sub still have a subscription, uh, but again, I I feel like this is a this is a purpose built software. It's not one software company trying to do everything. This is one software company that's really focused on being the best manager everywhere that'll give you your files everywhere. So hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out tj at tjhouston.com. I will be more than happy to help you. Thank you guys and have a good day. <music>